What if I told you I, we just discovered a material lighter than foam, but stronger than titanium? Sounds like sci-fi, right? But nope, this is real. This isn't some future tech locked in a lab. It's already here. And it's about to change everything. So what exactly is this new material, and how can something that feels like air take more pressure than steel? What role did artificial intelligence play in designing it? And how soon before it starts showing up in our planes, cars, and even space missions? Let's break it all down. He breakthrough discovery. Picture this. A team of scientists prints a tiny, intricate structure, barely visible to the naked eye. It looks delicate, like a microscopic sculpture. But when they test it, it doesn't just hold up, it dominates. This new material is called a nano lattice, and it's five times stronger than titanium, yet weighs almost nothing. How light, you ask? If you held a cube of it in your hand, it'd feel like holding a piece of foam. And yet, this stuff could handle stress that would crush steel. Let that sink in. This isn't just another cool lab experiment. It's a total rewrite of what we thought materials could be. For the first time ever, we're not stuck choosing between lightweight and strong, we get both. Why this is revolutionary. Here's the problem material scientists have always been up against. Strong materials, heavy. Light materials, fragile. Titanium is powerful but dense. Carbon fiber is light, but it's no tank. So engineers always had to compromise. Until now. This nano lattice changes the game entirely. It bends the rules. It redefines them. Why? Because it's architected. Designed at a microscopic level with precise repeating patterns that distribute force more evenly than anything we've ever made before. But it's not just tough. It's resilient. Most nanomaterials are brittle. They'll hold until they suddenly snap without warning. But this one? It absorbs stress, flexes, and keeps going. This is the first time we've built something this light and this tough, without sacrificing one for the other. How AI made it possible? All right, here's where things get wild. This breakthrough wasn't discovered by hand or by years of trial and error. It was taught. Researchers used artificial intelligence to do what humans couldn't, analyze thousands of potential structures and identify the exact pattern that would maximize strength and flexibility. Basically, they said, Hey, AI, here's the physics. Now go invent the strongest shape possible. Materials like carbon fiber and styrofoam are light but too fragile for heavy-duty applications. Scientists... And it did. It came back with designs no human had ever thought to try. Intricate web-like structures that looked alien but performed like nothing else. Then, using ultra-precise 3D printers, they brought those designs to life. AI didn't just help make this material, it invented it how this could change everything. Aerospace. Let's start with the skies. In aerospace, every kilogram counts. Lighter planes mean less fuel, less cost, and longer ranges. That's why airlines obsess over materials like titanium and aluminum. But now, we've got something five times stronger than titanium. And way lighter. Imagine aircraft parts made from this nano lattice. We're talking about saving up to 80 liters of fuel per kilogram per year. That's a huge deal. For rockets and spacecraft, it's even bigger. Wait. Every extra kilogram adds to fuel consumption and operational costs. If this Every pound launched into orbit costs thousands of dollars. With this material, we're looking at cheaper launches, more room for cargo, and even safer missions. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a revolution in how we build for the skies. Beyond the skies, cars, military, and more. Okay, let's bring it back down to Earth. In the auto industry, cutting weight means better mileage, more efficient electric vehicles, and safer designs that don't feel like tanks. Replace traditional parts with this material? Electric vehicles could go farther, charge less, and weigh less, without compromising safety. The defense sector could also see major advancements. The combination of high strength and low weight makes this material ideal for advanced body armor and helmets. Now shift to the battlefield. Soldiers could wear lighter, stronger armor, Drones could fly longer and farther. Armored vehicles, tougher but faster. And it doesn't stop there. Durable smartphones and laptops. Red In consumer tech, imagine smartphones that don't shatter. Laptops that are feather light but indestructible. Wearables that can take a beating but keep on ticking. One material, designed by AI, could upgrade everything from tanks to tablets. How it works. Still with me? Let's get a little nerdy. At the heart of this material is the nano lattice structure. Think of it like a microscopic scaffolding. 
Interconnected nodes and struts distribute stress across the material instead of concentrating it in one spot. The 3D printer used to create this structure operates at the nanoscale, so it can build patterns smaller than a red blood cell. That precision is what gives the material its power. In testing, this stuff held up to 2.03 megapascals per cubic meter per kilogram. That's a fancy way of saying way stronger than titanium. But most importantly, it didn't shatter under pressure. And it's not just strong, it's durable. That makes it perfect for real-world use. The catch and the future? Now there's always a but. This material isn't mass-produced yet. Right now, it's expensive and time-consuming to make. The 3D printers used are advanced, but the process is slow, and it hasn't scaled to factory-level production. But that's exactly what researchers are working on next. Finding ways to speed up production, cut costs, and make this material available for wide use. It's the same path carbon fiber followed. Once ultra-expensive, now it's in bikes, cars, and even office chairs. Give it a few years, and this AI-designed material could be everywhere. What's coming next? Now here's where it gets even crazier. Scientists are developing self-healing materials. Yep, materials that literally heal themselves, like your skin after a cut. Imagine a car that fixes its own dents, a plane wing that regenerates after damage, buildings that repair themselves after an earthquake, car exteriors, and even building structures, drastically reducing maintenance costs and extending the lifespan of- And of course, space is the ultimate playground. Radiation-resistant, ultra-light materials designed by AI are being tested for use on Mars and the Moon. These could be the building blocks of future habitats, rovers, and deep space exploration tools. This isn't just the next step in material science, it's the next era. The big shift. Let's zoom out. For centuries, we've built with steel, concrete, aluminum. Heavy, old-school stuff. Every building, bridge, plane, and car was shaped by the limits of those materials. But now, a eye is unlocking entirely new possibilities. We're designing materials at the microscopic level. Custom made for strength, flexibility, weight, you name it. The way we build things is about to change forever. This is the dawn of a new industrial revolution. Powered by AI built with nano lattices and engineered for a world we're only beginning to imagine. So, here's the real question. Can AI-built materials really replace titanium, carbon fiber, even steel? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're into mind-blowing science like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the next video. It dives into how AI is designing the future of energy itself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.